Yeah. Things like that used to happen all the time. I used to be in a like a video arcade. They always run by the mob, and I'd be in a video arcade, and some, they would come in and murder the guy who's running the place. And I would like step over his body to go home and have dinner. Like, and my mother would be like, "Shut up! Don't say nothing. You didn't see anything. Oh my you didn't God. see anything." Yeah. That used to happen all the time. I, I, I a see. I, I, I've yeah. been right. seeing. I've been around. Yeah. I've been around dead bodies since. This I'm like, isn't a mafia show, and I have the, I have all these facts about about <laughs> this guy, and I think we're just gonna interview Frank and try to get him. <laughs> Fixing Frank is gonna be the name of the new the new name of the show. So yeah, you know, you there, there was this guy Crazy Sal in my neighborhood. He used to torture cops. And one time this cop Sorry, what? This cop used to pull him over yeah. All the time So one time this cop pulled him over And he got out of the car He goes I want to check your trunk So he found like weed in the trunk So then like Sal just punched him And he didn't even realize it The guy landed head first On the, on the bumper He punched the cop? He punched the cop And the cop landed on his bumper And his face got attached to the bumper But he didn't notice so he was driving like 90 miles an hour down Flatlands Avenue. Wait, how did his face get attached to a bumper? He just he just landed on the bumper, and I guess his face had like a. So he ended up dragging this guy like sticky 40 tack blocks. on it. This guy like f- like was. De- de- Is this story real? Yeah, he was complete. His name was Crazy Sal, uh-huh. and uh, his body got dismantled. Then he just like jumped through somebody's window, and held them hostage while they were watching like Starsky and Hutch. And then the cops came, and, and he's still in jail. The, nice guy though. I, I still did like he him. Kill, uh-huh. He killed that police officer. It was then? an accident. But he killed him. <laughs> you want to know what's funny? When this, when this, this co- is a very weird story. He punched a cop, then the cop's face got stuck to the bumper, and then he dragged he him for 40 drunk. blocks. Can I tell you something? He had yeah. Crazy way, Sal was The way yeah. I was told the story by my teachers, by my parents, and by my friends was that the cop was a prick, Uh huh. and Sal was a nice guy. Right. It sounds like Italians that, and gossips. It, imagine, like, <laughs> no, imagine f- somebody telling Frank the story of, like, the Oklahoma City bombing. <laughs> Timothy McVeigh. Yeah, they're like, like, they're like, listen, Sally. You know, things are complicated, but Timothy McVeigh was a nice man, and all those kids fucking yeah, deserve to die. On the wrong you side know, of you, the building. You know what's interesting? <laughs> that, uh, Vin, getting back to Vinny the Chin. Yeah, it's like uh, he would. Uh, it's a lot. It's like like they really just like. Italian gangsters are like bullies. Mm-hmm. They start off as bullies, and then they're like, "I'll be a bully for a living." So yeah, like, he found right. out somebody had like a, this deal with like putting up windows, and he's like, "All right, I get a piece of that." Yeah, yeah. And he made like oh, seven hundred fifty yeah. million. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, that's what happened. Like, he, he started uh, shaking down people in school and stuff yeah. like that. And then uh, fifteen cents. He was a fighter, right? He was a boxer. Well, he was a boxer. So what happened was he he uh, he dropped out of school in ninth grade, which is what all the I think what all the winners do. So did I. <laughs> I kind of yeah, you know, I, I wish I dropped out of high school. I dropped out of high school, and then I went. <laughs> to college at 26. <laughs> yeah. And I got a degree at 29. In what? Sociology. Oh, good. This yeah. was a long time ago. I feel like they were like, Frank, back then. so, uh, so, <laughs> so, Frank's in the sociology class, and they're like, did you know that uh, systematic oppression is a thing? He's like, no, fuck that fucking <laughs> shit. I'm out of here. I went to St. John's University. And That's when so I, when weird. I, uh, that, uh, this girl a that I just met. Degree. Yeah. I just met a girl who went to St. Who's going to St. John's, and I think that's our connection. But mm-hmm. St. John's was a great school. Like, they really got a kick out of me because I would get up and give a speech on how, like, I gave a persuasive speech in, in uh in uh, effective public speaking. I got up and I gave a speech on how uh, John Gotti should not be in jail. Mm-hmm. And I got the whole school, to, the whole class to agree <laughs> that he shouldn't. <laughs> that that's how, that's how persuasive I am. I'm very yeah. persuasive. That's good. I want to start off because because if you guys listen to part one, you told uh, you told a, a, a story last week that like I was still thinking about it after I after we <laughs> wrapped up. It was so crazy. And the way you told it and the way you remember it, I don't know if that's how it really happened, because you said there was a guy, right? He liked to mess with cops. He got pulled over. Uh-huh. He punched a cop in the face. Mm-hmm. And he landed on the bumper. Now, wait, but but now but now it's already a little it's already a weird story because how did he did he get out of the car? Yeah, they made him get out of the car. Oh, they made him get out of the car. It's a, you can look it up in the news. Yeah, what was the guy's name? Crazy Sal. Crazy Sal. So what happened? And you that? and you want to the guy he killed was Officer Sledge. Mm-hmm. And um, they, so they, he sounds like a bad apple. This you, cop. But you want to know something? In my <laughs> he name, sounds like a, ra- a racist cop with, of anti-Italian. Everybody sentiment. hated him. He used to my, when when he died. Uh-huh. But now, if it happened, people might be crying for the cop. But back then, I remember he died. My mother was talking what a good guy Sal was, mm-hmm. what a nice guy he was, and what a piece of shit Sledge was. <laughs> really? <laughs> I mean, that's the way we were. That's what everybody talked about uh, that cop. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they gave us they gave us a hard time, like they did to the. The, the blacks. Yeah, when I was growing up in Brooklyn, I mean, we couldn't even stand on a street corner and have a conversation without fucking two paddy wagons pulling up and flashing the lights and chasing us for what? We're just talk, really, you know? Yeah, they had nothing better to do. Yeah, I hate when they bring a paddy wagon. You know, they mean business. They're it's just so stupid. No, but the story. So you, so, so then you said they. Uh, so he punched the cop in the face. Right. The cop went down, mm-hmm. and somehow 
the cop's face got attached to the guy's bumper. Yeah, like he landed on the bumper and like he was attached to it, and he didn't. How not, was he attached to it though? I got maybe his clothing, maybe his I don't maybe his skin. I don't know. He was attached to the to the bumper, right? And he drove for for a couple. He drove of for like you said forty square block or no, forty he, blocks or something. Long more more than that. And uh, he was attached to the bumper the whole time. Nearly a but mile. But then, how and did a half. crazy? But then, crazy Sal must have knew the cop was attached to the bumper, right? Yeah, because the cops he was getting chased by more cop cars, and then he jumped through somebody's win, win, window. And right. this family was watching television in East, in East Flatbush, and he held them hostage. You don't think that crazy Sal like attached the guy to the the no. the car? No, I mean he already he's already in jail for the rest of his life. Why would he? I mean, the story is the way the story is. Mm-hmm. Holy shit. So this happened. Well, back- this is just a segment we call Real American Heroes. We <laughs> want to dedicate this episode to Crazy Sal, who killed that fucking no good cop and uh, who got what was coming. When to I him. was a little kid, I couldn't climb fences because I was like five, four and everybody was climbing the fences and I couldn't climb. And he lifted me up with one hand to put me over the fence. Crazy Sal. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I loved him. Yeah. Crazy Sal. <laughs> So maybe Crazy Sal wasn't so No, crazy. this shit, this shit came all. up. When you do Google search Crazy Sal and Officer Sledge, all of that shit comes up. This is a 1981 article. What does Officer Sledge look look like? Uh, oh, that's, that his picture isn't in the fucking... Oh, okay. Could you imagine? Just a 20, the so Crazy Sal was 22 when this happened. I guess so, yeah. Yeah. I was like, I was 14. Mm-hmm. But I, I used to look up to the older guys, you know? Yeah. Oh, my God. You don't think that maybe he attached the cop's face to the bumper? No. Read this, the story doesn't come. It doesn't say that in the paper, but yeah, this is it. So a, he didn't. He must not have known where the cop landed. No, he didn't even know the cop was on on the bumper. He found out but later. How if he punches him in the face, he must have saw him go down. I feel and like he, he must knew. have known. He must have known. He had to have known. I don't think so. He's driven a car before. I don't think so. I don't think he knew. That's you, don't, you don't just. <laughs> you know what? You know what, Matt? It's uh, it's none of our it's none then, of our business. Is the point? <laughs> that's right. That you know, it's funny. To. My mother saw him because my mother knew him, and she was like, "How you doing, Sal?" This is like a week before it happened. He goes, "I'm doing good. I'm trying not to hurt people anymore." <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's included, and in I'm doing good. <laughs> you know, it's, also, uh, it's a challenge for some people. I love yeah. it. One of the themes of the show is like, I, like I really want to talk about like how things are different, you know, from like from Frank's time to now, and it doesn't seem like there's as much of a sense of like community anymore. No. You know? Now it's like New York, Brooklyn. It's all it's all transplants. It's all dirty white kids who like you know don't go out, don't socialize. Gross. Don't, uh, the, the the character of New York City has been stripped away. It's gotten yeah. so much yeah. worse. And I don't know if I talked about this last time, but I went to Philly this weekend, and I feel like Philly is so much like Philly really like has its like blue collar yeah. roots, you know. So, like Philly's uh, like if a if a gay couple moves in your neighborhood, they're, they're like, I'm not I'm not going anywhere, yo. I'm staying here. I'm <laughs> buying a I'm buying up the building. I remember I'm not letting these people. But then in New York, if there's like if there's like West Indians that move into your neighborhood, everybody leaves. I remember everybody's I remember. like, we're taking the family. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> we're selling the building. The second, like, a cupcake shop opens up or something. I was in South Philly for a wedding, and uh, it reminded me of Rocky. Mm-hmm. Like, the stoops, how close they are to the street. Yeah. Because in Brooklyn, the streets are really wide. Like, the cross the street, you got to look both ways. And in, in, yeah. in South Philly, it's just, like, so narrow. Yeah, 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 yeah. I liked it, though. I felt that, that city has a lot of character. Yeah, I feel really like does. Eagles fans are better fans than Jets Eagles fans. Eagles fans are the fucking scum of the earth, and I gotta Giants tell you. fans combined. Well, I mean, like, they love no, their team more, even Pens- though they Philadelphia are scum. Philadelphia football fans are just the worst people on the planet. They wait. You Come know on. the bridge that comes from the, that go, that go comes into Philadelphia? It's like it's at the <laughs> tip of the town. It's like a... It's a yeah, I the don't Ben know Franklin, the Walt Whitman? I, that, well, I don't know which one it is. Anyway, I heard... When Frank that, goes, he's like, I don't take the Walt Whitman bridge because he was a homosexual. I, I uh... I'm not driving over that bridge. No, somebody somebody told me that when the Giants come into town, yeah. the, the Eagles fans wait there to throw rocks at the bus. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. You know what would be nice? If you could just acknowledge one time when I make a joke, I'm gonna try. that's going to be my goal for this uh, show. I like burning bridges just, because you think the name of the bridge is homosexual. Mm-hmm. <laughs> George Washington, Brad, that would be Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, that's neither here nor there. That's for another <laughs> podcast. 